Greetings. Um, today, slightly different start. So, what um, what you're looking at is a um, sensor chip from a CD um, DVD player, and uh, you might notice that the sound probably will be a little bit different um, um, for a while, and that's because I'm recording this on my mobile phone. And this video will be uh, in this video. I will show you how to. How to take pictures like this, pictures or videos um, at such magnification like you see right now um, using your mobile phone uh, quite comfortably and using stuff that's probably lying somewhere around you. So yeah, um, without, uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So what you need is a CD-DVD drive combo. Now, it may be possible that you can uh, you can get um, what I'm after out of a uh, CD uh, CD ROM drive, a different type. But as far as I know, this uh, this particular lens is only in a CD um, DVD uh, combo drive. So, um, well, at least uh, that's what I've uh, what I've been getting most luck with. Um, so yeah, what you need is an old CD ROM drive. Let's take it apart. And here we've got uh, all the circuitry, so uh, this will have to be removed um, somewhat gently. Okay, and that's the disc out of its case. So, pressing on. Um, by the way, there's um, quite a few cool parts to salvage from this, uh, namely the uh, BLDC motor over here. And uh, and a little stepper underneath. You could make something cool with that. Um, but mainly, what we're after is uh, what's inside the uh, laser assembly. Okay. So now that we're here, this will vary from drive to drive, from assembly to assembly. But they're all quite similar, um, but not identical. Um, anyways, um, you want to be careful around here because um, there is quite a few things that are worth keeping, um, namely the laser diodes uh, and the rest of the optics. So when taking this apart, uh, just don't get brutal and and be careful. But at this stage, I'm just simply going to unscrew everything. Uh, that seems to be a screw and wait for things to fall apart and uh, this I think is worth getting the lens out on the camera so what you see here here is one laser diode and here is the second one and it's interesting optical path so uh, I'm not sure which one is which. One of them is uh, infrared for the CD and one of them is um, red laser diode for DVD. And the beam from one of the lenses goes here, hits this mirror and that goes through this block and through a lens over here and here behind the lens is a photodiode to control the output of a laser. Now this diode uh, the laser goes through here again hits this block and this block uh, it's a beam combiner so it's uh, this will not pass straight through um, there is a surface over here it's basically two pieces of uh, glass joined together but it will reflect off of the surface and bounce through to here as well and um, yeah both of those go through a lens over here oh come on and this lens is what we are after so this is the lens um, that will allow you to take really cool photos of uh, of small stuff um, now there is a bit more of trickery so there is another piece of optics over here Uh, this is a beam splitter, so it allows the beam to pass through, but also bounces its 
bounces the beam uh, back down and normally the lens I'm after was uh, not mounted like this it was mounted horizontally sort of uh, if you know what I mean so 90 degree to the way this one is and it was directly underneath the focusing lens of the of the laser uh, but this one is a little bit different but uh, that's not a big deal uh, I guess it will just when you take it apart you will see you will see um, all kind of different things inside so let's um, let's get further at it and uh, take it further apart and salvage all the parts out taking it further apart there is a spring here which we can take off I mean every every assembly is going to be slightly different but hey uh, I can see more screws so let's unscrew some more stuff and see what falls off there is always a moment uh, in this where you can't go any farther by taking screws off because um, there will be some components that are glued in so now I'm gonna start have to I'm gonna start prying things open gently and hoping to break the glue like for example over here um, but uh, fear not uh, this this glue is usually quite brittle so it holds stuff in place but uh, they do let go quite easily like so okay we've got a lens and a filter in this so let's take the rest of this stuff off there we go oh that's interesting um, there's a lens behind this and this is actually a chip that uh, that was reading the laser position um, for the CD so oh, that, this will be interesting to have a look at later on um, or maybe another video um, to, to look at it under high magnification oops my camera battery just died um, in the middle of a shot so I hope um, it saved it properly but um, well, I can't go back now so it's too late um, I've decided to actually desolder the um, laser diodes um, simply because it's gonna make a hell of a lot easier for everything so I've got my ion set to 280 let's see if that's gonna be hot enough you can see uh, the color changing effect on the filter so um, yeah that's uh, that's interesting piece of equipment now from what I see over here the the diodes are mounted in a piece of metal that's not the same part as the rest of the assembly so in in this case um, what I'm going to attempt is to apply some force to the whole metal and hopefully the, the glue will let it go just like this and we've got laser uh, and a lens in front of it so before I take it apart I'll try to use it with the existing lens ah, there we go that's another one and now this is uh, this is the tricky part so I don't want to get you scared but this, this is where, where stuff can go horribly wrong because a lot of this stuff is glass so and uh, there has been occasions where I've applied too much pressure and I've cracked uh, one or two items but in general what the best way to do it is get something sharp like I've got a broken scalpel here and try to slice through the glue whenever you, you see glue this will usually make it easier for things to pop out not always you will succeed in cutting all the way through it but 
sometimes well, every little helps I guess ah there we go we've got a filter another one okay my battery keeps dying even though it's on charge but but what I've noticed and that's good news is that the lens is not held really hard so there we go this is uh, this is the lens that we're after so let's uh, let's put that aside on something soft and one thing left in here well two things there is a lens over here a tiny one which I will attempt to take out um, and the beam combiner thing so there we go that came out nice okay so I tidied up a little bit um, we've got the bits and bobs uh, that we pulled off uh, including this interesting looking chip um, a tray worth of uh, optical stuff including two laser diodes um, but the main thing I was after in this uh, is this lens so this lens you have to place on the back of your camera of your mobile phone um, just so it is in the center where where your actual phone lens is it doesn't have to be perfectly center but it always helps to be somewhat precise now you've got to hold it in in place with means of something so just so it um, it doesn't move now clean your uh, clean your phone lens uh, before doing this anyways uh, but uh, just for the purpose of this video I will be using uh, two thin pieces of masking tape so I'm gonna just cut out two strips of masking tape you could always come up with some sort of permanent solution some sort of adapter cannibalize maybe a case for your phone drill a hole and place place the lens inside the hole so you can always just clip on the case and have the lens perfectly centered but just for the purpose of this video oh, that's a bit too much about right so there we go a makeshift uh, microscope so um, let's put it to action there we go um, so that's one of the laser diodes uh, assembly and yeah you can the image quality is really good now this requires quite a lot of light so I'm shining on top of it with uh, with just a uh, power bank with some LED uh, light stuck onto it um, but yeah you can see the magnification is quite high and uh, the focal length of uh, of the setup let me just have a look it's roughly about three centimeters of working distance so it's reasonable uh, if you want to look at something um, let's have a look at that uh, strange chip okay there we go so um, as you can see there is a uh, a little structure at an angle now I assure you naked eye this is not visible now with a mobile phone you can always utilize your digital zoom which on a video uh, it doesn't always have uh, too much of a detrimental effect because 
video is not all that many megapixels. I think I've overdone it a little bit because I can see it's getting grainy. But to some degree you can still have uh, quite a decent image. Um, so yeah, there we go. This is actually how I... Uh, how I took um, a long time ago the picture of a processor that's uh, in the in the header on my YouTube channel. So it's uh, yeah, it's an easy way to to make a little microscope. Uh, pardon my shaking hand, but I'm just holding this uh, right now. The best setup is to to use some sort of uh, yeah, tripod, mini tripod, or something along the lines. But yeah, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this little um, hack video, um, if you did please give me thumbs up or subscribe for some more random electronic content and as far as this video I think that's it, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, uh, please try making um, making this yourself, it's quite a lot of fun to look at things so, um, so up close, um, but yeah as far as this one, take care.